Andre, thanks very much. You know, South Africa remains the mainstay in terms of earnings and profitability for Sassel. But you've got these major mega projects and today you confirmed that the Louisiana, Louisiana government is actually backing you in the form of incentives. Mm -hmm. Can you take us through where those two projects in the uh, U.S. sit? We are pursuing two projects in the U.S. The first one is an ethane cracker and downstream derivatives uh, comprising uh, polyethylene, alcohols, uh, ethylene oxide and a number of other high value add derivatives. Uh, this project is anticipated to cost between five and seven billion US dollars, so it is a very large project, one and a half million ton per annum ethane cracker. And we anticipate that we will have that up and running uh, by the end of 2017. And that is a great opportunity for us, uh, based essentially on the abundance of ethane, which is associated with the production of natural gas through fracking. And that has put, I think, the, um, the ethylene cracker industry in the U.S. at the very low end of the cost curve. The only place in the world where you can get cheaper ethane is in the Middle East. So it's a, it's a great opportunity for us. I think the second project that we are pursuing is, of course, the, the gas to liquids plants. We are intending to do that in two phases. Uh, nameplate capacity of both plants combined, about 96,000 barrels per day, but we have indicated to the market that there's upside to that uh, of between 5 and 10%. Uh, we will also extract chemical value adds from that, uh, paraffins, uh, we will also be extracting wax and then we're investigating the feasibility of producing base oils, which is a very high quality lubricants feedstock and very much in demand. These uh, projects combined will cost uh, between 11 and 14 billion US, so again, very, very large investment for us and they are anticipated to come online phase one in 2019 and phase two in 2020. Uh, again, based on the fact that natural gas in the US as a result of the, the fracking revolution is now among the cheapest in the world. Uh, we are sitting today at uh, $3.40 per MMBTU and ethane in fact is trading below its heating value which is an anomaly that is, that is, that is just amazing and our current ethane cracker or existing ethane cracker is of course profiting handsomely on the back of these low feedstock prices. And the Louisiana government is also excited about this investment and they're coming to the party in the form of incentives. Can you outline what they are guaranteeing you and how they're opening the door for this sort of investment? Correct. Well Louisiana um, Economic Development which is the agency responsible for uh, fostering and facilitating investment into the state has driven quite a hard bargain. Uh, they have, uh, in our incentive agreement, they've stipulated that we need to create high payment or high paying jobs. Uh, we need to create a certain number of jobs and we need to meet a certain investment schedule. So by no means is this a freebie. It's not a giveaway. Uh, this, this is very much a hard bargain that they've driven. But in the process, they have um, incentivized us um, in terms of payroll tax relief, they have incentivized us in terms of um, the industrial land tax relief that we're able to get. They are working with us to facilitate the permitting process. Obviously, we will st still meet all of the requirements, but they are assisting us where they can. Um, and they're also working with us in the investment or the, um, or the construction of a training center, which initially will be dedicated full time to us. So it's an overall package and it is dependent on Sassel meeting all of its uh, investment commitments uh, and then we will qualify for these incentives. And in dollars and cents terms, what does that mean for those projects? We, we have uh, indicated that is um, north of a billion dollars in total value, so not net present value but total value over the life of the project.